What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NV Edits. Today, we're at our local Walmart. As you can tell behind us, we're gonna be heading inside and getting some supplies. Today, Nick and I are gonna be camping and fishing for you guys. So, we wanna get out there before the sun starts going down. So we're gonna head inside. We've got a couple things we need. For one, we have to find a grill because just like a portable little grill, we lost ours. I don't know how that happened. I know ice fishing, we definitely used it. And since then, no idea where, where, where it could have gone. We're thinking it probably fell out of the back of the truck one day with some of the other fishing supplies that we have. You guys know how it is. So we're gonna head inside, find a grill, grab some brats, whatever else we need for fixins to cook over the grill tonight while we're camping, see what else we can find. And then we're gonna head to the lake and we're gonna get the tent set up and get out there and start fishing. So let's head inside. Seeing this? Nick, it's on sale. We do. We do need one of those. We need one of those so bad. I don't know if you guys saw our last video, but it's time for a new one. Okay, so now we're getting into the stoves. I know good old Daddy John over at Mindac Outdoors. Pretty sure he bought this big old Coleman grill. He sent Pretty me a, sure he did. Yeah, he sent me a snap the other day. I think he just bought that. Here, look at this. Single burner propane stove. You just buy one little thing of propane, which is right here. Did you buy one of these? God, Walmart is just so nice. They just okay. they just got everything right here out in front. So we got the propane inside of there. There's a base and a burner. We need, I don't know how big. I don't know, just grab one. This one right here? Sure. Oh man. 482. I think Eight we inch can, cast we can iron scale. Yeah, I think that's gonna be all right. Okay, nice and compact, super small. We've got our cooking supplies now. We're gonna have to go and grab some food. Well, we might as well grab some freaking buns. I don't even know what I were in, but hey, making it easy for us. That's right, gotta love Walmart. Oh yeah, we're getting into the sausage aisles here. Ooh. That is not a bad choice. But I'll let you choose though, but I'm just saying that's not a bad choice. No, I'm gonna have to agree with you. We got Ballpark Frank. Ballpark's We've pretty got good too. Oscar Mayer. I don't know though. I think you're you're right. Do we need how many do you want? There's, there's three for each of us here. I mean otherwise I just picked up the dirty twelve pack too. It's up to you man. I mean how hungry are you feeling? I mean Okay, fine, just do the three. Okay, okay. Alright, so grab some Heinz ketchup. And if you guys didn't know, Nick does work for a company called Kraft, like Kraft Mac and Cheese which is merged with Heinz as of recent. So we support Heinz ketchup. Yeah, like this, Sir Kingston's, no. whatever. Unacceptable, great value. Know, get that out of there, that, great value. Get that out of there. Might as well turn that around. Oh, right here, check this out. Hunt's ketchup, yep, just, yep, no, see ya. Heinz family. Heinz family. What are we feeling? You know what I'm definitely not feeling though? Let me find them quick. I don't even see them because of that bad. I was looking for ruffles, but we're definitely not getting any ruffles. Don't even talk about ruffles. Especially the cheddar ones. I know no. uh, some people that definitely find those good that are not, not good. Like this, this is good. Those are good, that's good. Anything besides Dude, ruffles. That's so good, good I might just buy it. I would. Spicy nacho or the sweet, wrong. the spicy sweet chili is also a move, but. Yeah, no, that, we're going with these. I think we got those last time, we're getting these. Well, that is all we need from the old Wally world. We still got to drive to the lake, set up, and do all that fun stuff. So we're going to check out. We're going to get to the truck, drive to the lake, and we're going to get this camping video sesh going. God, just the best going in and out of Walmart. Especially during the Rona. Everybody's got the masks, and there's like all these weird pathways. It's like a maze trying to get into the store. To be fair, we actually hate Walmart. <laughs> going to Wally world sucks sometimes, but... It has They've all these always things. got the goods. So we're loaded up on the essentials for some camping tonight. We're headed to the truck. We're gonna drive out to the lake. And the spot that we're going tonight, boys, it is an absolute send and a half. Like, there's Some no would say way. Extreme. Oh, it's extreme. There's no way that a lot of people are getting back there. So you gotta have a big old jacked up truck like Nick. We're gonna get out there and see if we can get her stuck. Oh Lord. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's not easy getting back into this one. Hopefully no down trees. We wouldn't want that. I do have a saw. You got the saw with? I'm always prepared. Hey, when you're truck camping and you're driving into these lakes like this on logging trails, well, you could definitely encounter 
pretty much anything, so you gotta come prepared. But this, this is one of the worst. Not, I don't know if I should say worst, but it's- It's up there. It seems pretty freaking bad. It's one of the worst spots that I feel like that you and I go to. It's pretty, pretty rough. Yeah, it's not, not great. Yeah. Sure. Let me just go check it out. Hold up. Oh God. For sure. It doesn't look that deep. Oh goodness. All right. Well, handled that like a champ. I'm seeing some more down there. Hopefully we don't get stuck crawling back into the truck. We're out here, boys. Oh, the bugs are great too. Oh God. Get in the truck. We go through some pretty crazy stuff uh, to get back into the, some of the areas that we fish. Oh my goodness. Oh God, yeah. Oh, this oh, one's this looking one's real good. good. Send it, send it. Oh! <laughs> Hopefully the kayaks don't fall out. Oh man. There she be, way up there is the lake. Oh yeah, it's looking beautiful boys, let's go. Oh God, yeah. Woo! All right. Ooh. Bugs are real bad. We got some mud on the Ford. So you can pretty much drive down like right, well you could drive in the lake if you wanted. There's no boat landing really. Just kind of, here you are. Super crystal clear water and uh, it's about 40 feet deep. There's bluegills, bass, pike. I actually don't know what's all in this lake. I haven't really fished it like a whole lot, but I know there are bluegills and bass, so. This is where we're pretty much gonna be set up. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the truck parked there. Otherwise, we might pull it like right into this area because it's a nice wide open little area right next to the lake. This is where we're gonna be doing the little camp sesh. But we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna start setting up the tent and then pretty much we're gonna take the kayaks out and we're just gonna explore the lake a little bit, see if we can get into some bluegills. They are pretty much getting into the spawn on most of the lakes up here in Northern Wisconsin. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. but. First, we're gonna set up the truck tent. All right, grab this bad boy out of here. Definitely gonna need that, considering uh, that's the truck tent. Proper. Oh God, we got a ton of stuff in here. Here you go. Oh God. Oh man. Okay. All right, start setting that bad boy up. All right. There we go, guys. Check it out. We got the tent all ready to rock for us tonight. No cap either. We got the cover completely off tonight because we've got 0% chance of rain. It's gonna be a beautiful night of camping and we've got the yaks ready to rock. Check oh it God, out, yeah. new canoe, Frontier 12s. If you guys have never seen these kayaks before, I would definitely look it up. I mean, they're not the cheapest option, but if you're looking for a really nice kayak that you can stand on, um, they're super, super durable. They're not the lightest, they're a little bit on the heavy side, but you're, you're, there's no way you're tipping this. This is like 40 some inches across. Oh yeah, no, you're not falling off this thing. You're not tipping it overboard. I mean, we stand right on the edge of these things and we cast all day right off of these things. So let's see if we can find some bluegills and maybe even some large mouth and just get out there and have some fun. Well, this is pretty interesting in here. I guess I'm just gonna take a cast. It's just like this little shallow inlet. All right, definitely spooked a fish doing that. Seems like it's pretty shallow. The rest of the lake, the shore, oh, there's a bass right there. The rest of the lake seems pretty deep. Man, what is going on? Oh, definitely blue goes over there. I definitely spooked like a ton. Yep, got one. Oh, there's bluegills everywhere in here. Oh my God. Okay, we just gotta sort through some of these. Just a small one to start off the day, but I'm literally looking at like 20 of them. There's one. Oh, it seems better. Oh yeah, definitely a decent bluegill as I'm drifting into the spot I was casting, so that's great. We're not keeping any fish today. One last look at them. Get a release on them. See ya. There we go, there's one. Wait, what the heck? 
No way. I thought that's almost what that was. Okay. Did not know that there were smallmouth in this lake. Not a bad one either. See you later, buddy. That was an awesome find. Oh, look at that. Right over the log. That was awesome. Whoo! Another nice one there. Look at that. Go ahead and get that one back into the water. Oh, God, yeah. Well, fishing wasn't all that great. I mean, we definitely did get out there and we did catch some bass and some bluegills. I was expecting a little bit bigger on the size, but, uh, you know, that's fishing. You can't always have a great day out there, so. It is what it is, but what is gonna be great though, I'll tell you what, those brats that we got from Walmart, the jalapeno ones, oh God, I've been looking forward to them. Like I was looking forward to the fishing, but <sighs> brats are, I mean, 10 out of 10 for sure. So we're gonna, we're gonna get the grill out and we're just gonna start eating some brats because that's the main thing that we wanted to do. Was it a cooking station? Oh yeah. Nice log that you just pulled on over here. Yeah, that's not bad. Honestly guys, this thing's actually, pretty sweet so basically i like all the fact is, that you can just put it anywhere yeah it's just like a stand this is just a little plastic stand and then you buy a propane tank slide that down inside of there and then this part just screws on that's literally all it is so on this side we've got our little gauge oh yeah i hear the propane oh yeah grab the oh, little lighter like that. just like so now we're ready to cook some brats so God, yeah. I'm gonna need all three too, I'm telling you right now. Ooh. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere now. These brats are gonna be pretty dank. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all six in there, but you know for sure we are cooking all six. That's happening. Oh God, yeah. No utensils is not really a move. Just flip it with your hand. Definitely don't touch the cast iron. Yeah, it's pretty warm. These are going to be freaking delicious. We got ketchup ready. We got the buns opened up. The buns. They're ready to go. Oh, God, yeah. Give me oh. some of those tips. Yeah. Give me like a handful right now. Oh, man. Oh, God, yeah. Try we're going to be munching on those. A lot better than ruffles, let me tell you. Mm. All about the delivery. Do not drop them. There we go. You got a bun? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, baby. Oh, God, yeah. These are looking catch up on them wieners. Real good. Cooking lakeside. Got the truck tent all sent up. This is definitely, uh, definitely a nice night out, that's for sure. Much needed. Cheers, buddy. Oh, oh okay. okay. Okay, I was going to give you the cheers, but it's fine. Guess you're hungry. How's the jalapeno? Is it good? Good choice? Very good. Very, very good. I just want to get these other brats off here. Probably not. Before we burn them. We don't need these burning. So beautiful out here. It's amazing how nobody else is really willing to give it a full send, you know? You don't see a lot of people doing this. Sure, there's a lot of people that love camping and getting out into some rural areas, but this is beautiful. I mean, there's nobody out here, and I just don't understand it. Like, perfect night to do some more fishing and to get out and just have some brats over the grill. We're sitting by a campfire right now. Tent is up, absolutely perfect. So we know that's why you guys enjoy our videos because we do things obviously a little bit differently. Uh, but if you guys are curious about the kayaks that we have, anything as far as the setup with the truck tent, anything like that, leave it for us down in the comments below. We are gonna go ahead, finish eating, and I think we're gonna head back out onto the lake and try and film another video for you guys here tonight still before we end up going to bed. But, oh God. We hitting top water? Top water. And you know what I don't have? You didn't bring any top water? I didn't bring any top water. Hmm. Be a perfect night to toss the old hula popper or maybe a spook or something like that. Man, we'll see. What? Well, like I said, we're going to go ahead, wrap this up. Thanks for joining us today, guys. If you do have any questions for us, make sure to leave it down in that comment section below. We love getting out here. We're going to be doing a ton of camping videos for you this summer. So make sure to stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, guys, tight lines from NBA.